It's not. My face is bricked. Mm -hmm. Those are Hey everybody. I am with Bandile. She's doing my nails. And as always, there's a whole lot of harassment. It's harassing me. But uh, I'm used to him tata with a pinch of salt. Actually, a tablespoon of salt. Um, so I'm getting my nails done. There's no power. But here yeah, by Tim Taylor here, yeah, they make a plan. Right? I wanna have a tubu. It's one of the mutuaka. and now when I'm talking to him and he knows that I'm recording, he's always like but by kids and karabanaki boys. Anyway, so I'm doing my nails and I've been here for over an hour or so. I'll show you once baby girl finishes. She doesn't want to be on camera today because she's been crying the whole time I've been here <laughs> but, but I'll show you everything once I'm done and uh, I wanted to vlog this and then I wanted to get and whatever but we're here we're here how do you like my dress? pretty ne? Majaini. Khali ke shuhit bye Hey everybody, what's up? What's going on? It's a, another vlog. Um, I just got back from work and I'm quickly going to try and um, saute up some prawn meat, as you can see. I'm going to try and saute that up because in the next 20 minutes I have low chilling. Woo! So excited! Um, so I'm going to saute that up and boil two eggs because I want to have like a prawn egg salad uh, for dinner. I got home and I made myself a smoothie and that's what I've had today. Um, so I got, you know, I'm lying. I got home a little bit around, I'd like to say an hour, no going on four now I got home at around two so I got home two hours ago and then I made myself a smoothie and then I'll probably eat around six but now the thing is I need to cook this meat now and then I'll just put it in a, a glass container and leave it at that and then around six o'clock I will prepare the food and I will obviously take you through that um, if you've been on this channel long enough, you've probably seen me in a vlog somewhere make the prawn and egg salad so it really isn't anything complicated. You boil two eggs, you saute some prawns, you call it a day. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm not going to show you how I do that. I'm going to just lay the... I'm going to put the camera there and then you're going to see what you're going to see and then that's going to be that and then we're going to call it a day. Um, so let's let's do that. And yeah.
Okay, here we go. So, we got the food. Looks like a big plate, but it is a salad. So, do consider that a lot of the greens on here are not counted as full on. If you do the work, if you do the work and you do the research, you'll, you'll get what I'm saying. So, I'm going to try and get a little bit of everything in there. Got the melon. I'm, I'm literally salivating. Got the cheese. Got the avo. Got the shrimp. Let's go. Mm. Egg. Mm. I shall. Mm -mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Miss Mamas, what is this? I don't. I think the whole thing about salads is you need to get really innovative with them and you just kind of figure out, you know, sometimes instead of having mixed lettuce or mixed greens, you can have broccoli in a salad. You can do quite a lot with a salad. Sometimes you can add strawberries. I like to do maybe something else that I'll do is a chicken and strawberry salad salad with feta cheese. Oh my gosh. It's so good. So, so, so good. Um, I'll do that one as well, but this slaps. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then you have the cheese, which which just adds that creaminess. If I had mozzarella cheese, I would do that. I would add that. Mm. 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 The cheese and the avo are literally elevating the creaminess. And then you've got the salt, the savory taste from the prawns. But then you mix that up with the sweet taste from the melon. <sighs> Absolutely amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's really good. Yep. This is dinner for me. It's headed for six, I think. The power actually didn't go, believe it or not. I think it's headed for six o'clock now. Yep, it's quarter to six. So it's great timing to actually be eating supper. Mm. All right. Hmm. Alright, it's good, Jim. Okay. I'm gonna go eat. If I don't touch base tomorrow, today, I'll touch base tomorrow. Okay? Until then.
You don't instantly say, you don't instantly say, I'm not a young man. Drop a phone, think about it. East Coast always in me, Commonwealth, milk Joe, getting love from my city. Yeah. I roll call for the DMV. Could still ride with me, yeah. Lord knows I made mistakes. You won't end, but it's too late. I don't need your support just to know I'm important. And I will never sell myself short, cause I know you'll see me on the come up. Big girl with big dreams and big drip. Talk is cheap, but please dare me to run up. Hey everybody, you can see that first things first, if you follow me on social media, you will have already seen this. I did my hair 
at Legends a couple of days ago, and uh, I ain't even finna lie, y'all, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I got sick and tired. I got so sick and tired of um, my hair, okay? It was just too much. It shouldn't be this much of an exercise to do my hair. It shouldn't be this much of a schlep to do my hair. So, no, no ma'am, no ma'am. Um, yes, the car chats, um, I am looking at the road. You just can't see my eyes. But I am looking at the road as I speak. We're good. Um, <clears throat> so, catch you up on a lot of things, okay? I haven't felt like talking much in my vlogs lately. <laughs> okay. I know, it's a bit weird, but I haven't felt like talking much in my vlogs lately. And so what I was saying is, I just haven't been feeling like, um, what's this? talking in my vlogs lately but there's a lot that i need to catch you up on but there's a lot i need to catch you up on right now i am on my way to the mall because on saturday this saturday i am going to be speaking yes yes i'm actually lifting my chair so that you guys can see me a little bit better this saturday i am going to be speaking at the boss plus life edit boss plus one life edit event and i'm going to be talking as y'all know i'm a very big activist and advocate of mental health and good mental health that is so i'm going to be speaking at this event on saturday and i need an outfit for the event just a nice dress nothing hectic nothing ridiculous just a really pretty nice dress so i'm going to the mall now to have a look uh if i don't find anything i do have a secondary outfit idea in my mind in my head in my mind um so that's fine so it's really not going to be the end of the world someone asked me on tiktok hey Luna, lots has happened ne? someone asked me on tiktok let's start with this one someone asked me on tiktok that Gata, you haven't said anything about your tattoos and that's actually very true i did get a tattoo done uh, a couple of months ago two months ago a month ago i don't know december december time yeah i got a tattoo done and it's on my back that's why typically uh, you're just not gonna see it <laughs> much but um when i'm wearing certain outfits of course it shows and vests and things like that um so i will put a picture of it here 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 okay that is an unalom tattoo so it's a tattoo that uh right next to the tattoo i'll put an imagery of what an unalom is and it has to do with just peace calmness uh femininity like just purity as well i love it i love it and it's on my back and it's on a very special part of my back <laughs> it's a part where i don't like to be touched very much but i love it but i also like to be touched and <laughs> it's weird anyway um so that's what i got and then on my leg I just completed, I have my mom's name on my ankle, on the inside of my right ankle, and um, just above my ankle bone. And there I put astronom astrological stars, signs of stars or whatever that are akin to, that mean Aquarius, which is my mother's star sign. And that also means Scorpio, which is my sister's, and Gemini which is mine so that's what I did that's what I did that's that's it that's it you know something simple I felt like getting a tattoo and I did one uh, I had been itching to get one done but I really love the one on my back it's such a pity that I I don't get to see it as often as other people do <laughs> so then there's also um, How how many how many views does it take for a TikTok video to go viral? I don't think it went viral, but over a hundred and twenty thousand people viewed this TikTok where I went off 
uh, on the story about Pick and Pay Girl. I'm pretty sure you guys probably know Pick and Pay Girl and she responded to me. And I think she was trying to be insulting when she responded to me. Um, she did um, a, a TikTok talking about how men who carry with them uh, savings you know discount cards like smart shopper or checker savings or whatever men who carry she could never be with men like that it's just not in it's not her style it's not her thing she could never and uh yeah if she wanted to trend as she trended him if she did it because she wanted to cause a stir she did the right thing because it even got my attention and typically i do not like Interesting my myself in in other people's business, but I actually want to. I'm such a big fan of segments, right? I actually want to do a segment, a sit down segment where that's called say what you know, like say what, um, where I talk about things that have trended in that month. So it's like one segment each month, and I write down whatever has trended, and I I talk about it in that segment. I think that would be so much hang on let me adjust you guys i think that would be so much fun i think that would be so much fun but i'll think about it i'll think about it um what's the other thing so i told you about the life edit event i told you about my tattoo i told you about pick and pay girl um yeah she came back at me and tried to respond and she's like what were you saying about my nails ma let me tell you something okay younger women who are in their early 20s typically a lot of the time tend to say ma or refer to women in their 30s and above as ma or mama or whatever so she did that and apparently she did it twice the first comment that she did sent to me in my response to her uh, pick and pay video she said mama or something like that where she was trying to be insulting <laughs> it didn't land i don't know what her plan was i think she was trying to insult me and make it seem like oh my gosh you're so grown you're such a granny and here you are entering sharing in my business so i didn't see the first comment then the second one she did it again and i saw that one and with that one i responded and on top of that i did a tiktok where i said i don't find being called ma or mama or whatever offensive i just don't find it offensive some women do they find it offensive but i typically find it quite respectful um in certain instances so for me her calling me mama with the intent to insult me actually backfired because i just kind of felt like good good at least now you know um you know you know we're not in the same league my darling me and you and i respect your elders and i'm quite happy with that <laughs> i'm quite happy with that but anyway so got a green juice here because who am i oh. <clears throat> um i think i'm gonna probably wrap this vlog up today so that the boss plus event um is the beginning of another vlog or not the beginning of another vlog but as part of the vlog after um i think i've got quite a bit of content for this vlog uh if i do find a dress today we'll have a chat when i get back home um if i don't find a dress today i be like that sometimes don't have to buy a fresh outfit all the time but i kind of do like especially if i'm going to be speaking but beautiful if you go shoot the nepe if you go shoot the nepe in an outfit i haven't been seen in before you know what i'm saying yeah anyway so i'm at the mall now so i'm gonna go inside the mall and uh try and sort this shit out because sir please thank you uh try and sort this mess out because Mamas, I need to find an outfit. I can hear them thinking out loud, loud. Simple people acting 
so proud, proud. I hear them talking, talking, talking about us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear them thinking out loud. Mm. One might think it's obvious. Please don't spill your mind. Have a clue, hey.